Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this video, I would like to offer your November 2024 elemental reading for the element of water. Water covers the signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Um, I read intuitively, so the messages that come through are going to... I'll read what's on the cards or in the book, and then whatever source brings through as well. If you have never had your charts read, or you're looking to maybe get a little more information, there is a natal chart in the link in, linked in the description you can check out. It gives you your base chart with 12 houses, and then it shows you your elemental alignment, uh, and then it's 10 to 20 pages, give or take of information about what each of those houses mean, what those placements are, all that fun jazz. So, um, and if you're interested as to why I read for the elements, there's a video linked in the description. Other than that, we'll get started. And today for our water family, we are starting off with the hexagram number one. I cast the hexagram before the stream, so we can just have this up. And it's this guy here, it's the creative principle. And it's the creative principle, sublime success, persistence in a righteous course brings reward. So this is saying November is going to be pretty rewarding for you, but you're working with an energy of creativity. It's not going to be in the um, aspect of very analytical, very structured. The structure may be beneficial, but it's how you approach it from a unique or creative standpoint that is going to bring you the most success. So, let's hop over here to the each of the lines break down. So, our foundational line. The concealed dragon refrains from action. What does this signify? So, this basically means the dragon who's hidden, the energy within you, the abilities that you have that are hidden, as long as they don't move and don't take action, it can remain hidden. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's up to you. That's the reason it asks the question, what does this signify? It's saying you have a lot of gifts, talents, and abilities, and you've, you've used a lot of them throughout your life. Just that's what do we do. But what it's saying right now is the stuff that you know you have the ability to do and you just haven't used yet, the reason that no one knows about it is you've never actually brought it to the surface. And so to conceal a dragon, to conceal a spiritual gift, to conceal an energy, um, it just basically means you haven't shown anybody that particular gift. And the creative principle for this month means it might be a time, also, you know, judge your environment, but it might be a time to start letting some of those hidden dragons come out. So our second line, the dragon is perceived in an open space. It is advantageous to visit a great man. So this dragon starting to come out, this energy of creation, this creative principle, so to speak, is coming out into the open, you might not be fully comfortable or aware of how to make this manifest or how to make this um, show up in the world. So it's advantageous to visit a great man means find someone who's been there, done that, that has a gift similar to or a talent, skill, ability similar to the one that you are trying to allow out and bring forward because that can be very beneficial in the long run where you can basically learn at the master's knee type of a thing and trust me you might think of them as the master and they may think of somebody else as the master and that other person might think of you as the master mastery is all in how you project and show your ability and control over the talent or skill um, there's really no such thing as someone who knows it all because they just don't exist so your third line, the superior man or woman busies himself the whole day through and the evening finds him thoroughly alert. Trouble threatens he is not at fault. So you stay busy, you're doing all the things, you're, you're bringing this creative energy forward, you're creating, you're doing the work, and even though you're doing this all day long, you're enjoying what you're doing so much that you actually carried on into the night, and that's where it says, evening finds him thoroughly alert you're still ready to roll by evening because what you were doing was so much fun you enjoy it so much that it's not wearing you out and it's not exhausting you to a point because it will eventually wear you down but right now you're not seeing that um, and then trouble threatens he is not at fault so 
what I'm hearing with that is the trouble is not so much you. It's that someone else is being feeling uh, threatened or pushed upon because of your growth and expansion. This is not your fault. It's natural to grow. It's natural to expand. The other person wants to keep you small and squished down because it makes them feel better. So as you're growing, that other person is like, ah, that's not fair. Why are they getting promoted or why are they getting to create? You can do it too if you choose, but that's where the energy is. So it's not your fault that this is this any pressure that's coming in. That's not on you. That's because someone else is having a moment. So your fourth place line, I know these are all the same, but so hold it up. <laughs> uh, leaping about on the brink of a chasm, he is not at fault. When someone is pushing back or you're getting close to a major breakthrough, it can feel like you're standing on the knife edge of reality where once one wrong move and you can just, you know, plummet. But it's saying you're not at fault, meaning you have your heart is in the right place. The things that you're doing are for your benefit and others benefit. It's that growth aspect. So you're leaping about on the brink of a chasm, meaning you're so happy you don't notice that there could be an issue around. Uh, and that's actually a good thing. And that also says because you are in this more elevated emotional state, you don't notice the, the naysayers. You don't notice the people who are not on board with you because their vibration is so much lower than where you're currently at. And it'll fluctuate. Everyone's does. But right now what they're saying is you're going to have a really good month because you're going to be in a kind of an emotional high, which is nice. Uh, your fifth place line, the dragon wings across the sky. It is advantageous to visit a great man. Even though you have expanded, grown, and you're doing more and more and more, which is great, you're expanding your ability and you're starting to, they're saying show it off, so we'll go with that. Because the dragon wings across the sky, meaning you're allowing other people to know about your gifts, your talents, your abilities, and that can be a little unnerving, but you're allowing it to happen anyway because you know it's part of your growth. It is advantageous to visit a great man. Keep checking in with the person that's helping train you or work with you or maybe even advise or guide you because when you do that, it allows you to keep A, humble, keeps the ego in check. It also allows you to have an outside person maybe give you some self-correction if something's going a little bit off. They're not saying that it is. This is just tools to work with as, as you go forward here. So our capstone here right there a willful dragon has cause for regret what um, so this is the reason you check in with a great man because if the willful dragon the ego that look what I can do I'm so much better than those other people if that becomes the the dominant energy regret can follow because it could actually lead you to crashing and it doesn't mean definitively because it doesn't say it's going to happen but there's a regret in that respect or trying to listen to the person, the great man who's advising, and you're like, that person obviously doesn't know what they're talking about, and you're just going to go do your own thing. Either way, you have this egoic, the negative ego stepping forward, and this is not going to be a benefit in the long run if that happens. So as you go through this month, allow your creativity, allow your ingenuity, the thing that sets you apart uh, in most situations, because you may not even realize that you have this gift, talent, or ability, but if it starts to you know, manifest, allow it to come forward. If you're not fully sure how to handle the growth aspect of it, or let's say it's a leadership position that you're stepping into and you have this amazing new ability that's coming forward as well, where you can lead, because that's not something most people have, we'll just be clear there. But if that's what's coming forward and you seek advice from someone who can help guide you into a leadership role that doesn't actually ne affect you negatively, keeps your ego in check, that's great. But if that ego gets ahead of your gift and starts to redirect you into how good you are, how amazing, puff you up and make you step on other people, that's when the willful dragon will have regret. So going through this month, there's a lot of opportunity for spiritual growth. There's a lot of opportunity for expansion. And they're saying that this could lead into some very prosperous or abundance-based uh, changes for your life. 
The only thing that they're saying is to keep check on your ego. Don't let that get ahead of you because that's where the regret can happen. So with that, we'll hop over to our uh, tarot. There are approximately four weeks in November. I read week to week. So uh, if the weeks fall out of order for you, then that's fine. Uh, it's just however they manifest. I just bring the messages in. Um, I read a guide or guardian for each week, a guide to help you through the week, a guardian to deal with any of the unexpected things that come up, a message from source, a positive affirmation, some reinforcement or encouragement, and then a lesson or challenge from the tarot, something to work on or something to be aware of that could be coming in that week. With that, we'll get started. Your first week's guide or guardian are the angels of self-acceptance. And with self-acceptance, this is where you acknowledge that you have these unique talents and skills. And yeah, it makes you different, but that's not bad. <laughs> different in a lot of ways is that you're, you could become an innovator. You could be someone who does it a little bit differently and actually gets better results. Just because everybody else does one, two, three, four, five steps, if you happen to go one to three because two doesn't really fit with how you work, but it all turns out in the end, that is a good thing. When you're working with this energy, with uh, with self self acceptance <laughs> you really look at the fact of who you are inside you look at the beautiful soul that lives within and how can you allow others to see that without setting yourself up as well i'm better than that person because there's always going to be someone better than you you're always going to be better than someone else that allows the ego to stay in check by acknowledging that yes i am on a different playing field than some other people and that's fine and other people are a different one for me and that's fine accepting yourself with your flaws your quirks your unique um, <laughs> make up your body your mind your spirit it allows you to be like no I'm actually okay where I'm at and I can grow according to my urges drives working with my higher self and my guides and guardians that allows your growth to be very natural and very I won't say comfortable because growth is change and growth are never comfortable but it allows it to be in a more fluid state which taps into the water energy beautifully your message from source is tools i feel like this one comes up with a, a magician card in the standard tarot because you have all the tools that you need for this growth for this expansion you also have the tools and the support needed to accept where you're at now does that mean you're perfect no does it mean that anyone else is perfect? Also, no. <laughs> but you have the tools to expand and grow through this process. When you're working with self-acceptance, knowing that you have the tools to look at it from an honest perspective, from a higher self perspective, so that you're not being uh, blinded by egoic uh, pride or arrogance is a good thing. And you have those gifts and abilities. Water, your you're native... It, your, your natural state is an intuitive state and so you can use your intuition to see where things are going and that allows you to grow in a healthy state is what I'm hearing for this first week the ace of summer is your lesson or challenge open your heart to love the beginning of a new intimate relationship rebirth of a current one the awakening of psychic or spiritual abilities this is bringing forward that fact that you have these growth options this month you have this sleeping hidden dragon that wants to come forward which is a unique talent or skill and it also ties into there could be for our water family out there um, a new relationship if you're single if you're in a relationship it's saying it could take be taking that relationship to a much deeper level but we're not talking just physical intimacy it's a spiritual connection is what I'm hearing so the lesson this first week is to really understand you have the gifts, the talents, and the skills to move forward, opening your heart to love and acceptance of yourself and of others allows this growth to really blossom into this beautiful next level. So let's take a peek at our second week for our water family. We have manifestation. I feel like this month is really going to be about creating something new and bringing it into reality for you. Because this, the angels of manifestation come in to help guide you in the steps of taking a concept, making it into a, fit, a, a conscious thought, and then how do you bring that th conscious thought into the physical realm. 
And the angels of the manifestation the second week are saying, now that you understand yourself better, you can start to see this new emerging, and they're showing me a dragon egg, so that's cool. This new emerging dragon egg of skill, talent, or ability, something that you knew you had, but you've kind of held back, maybe even repressed because you weren't quite comfortable with it. That's what you accepted and worked with in the first week. The second week is now that you have this awakening of this new thing to bring to the world, the angels of manifestation are going to help in the second week, help you see the path ahead on how to manifest that, whether it's a relationship, whether it is a um, skill, new business concept idea, um, something along those lines, Any, well, anything really, but it's telling you that you can bring this stuff in and the angels of manifestation are here to support. Um, your message from source is expression. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, it is perfectly beautiful and amazing to express yourself authentically, not according to someone else's dictates, because that gets a little bit sketch. But when you're looking at yourself from a spiritual perspective with like the first week, really tapping into that awareness of the growth potential, accepting yourself, seeing yourself with the tools you need for the growth ahead. And in the second week, you're working with the angels of manifestation. It allows you to express yourself, these talents and skills as well, in a way that the world can look at and be like, huh, I need that. Uh, whether it's a physical product, whether it is a relationship, you're setting yourself up and you're opening yourself up to that, where the other person might look at you and be like, I'm curious, I want to get to know that person better. Or if you're in a relationship, it could be, I just keep falling deeper and deeper in love with this person and now this new thing has popped up and it just makes me love them even more. So <clears throat> this expression part is unique because it's how you show up in the world is what I'm hearing. Your lesson or challenge is the eight of summer, desire for more meaningful life, realizing it's time to move, choosing to make life changes. <clears throat> Everything that's going on this month is going to cause a shift for you, whether it is good, bad, and different, there is movement occurring for our water family. Uh, and it's probably not the easiest thing. Water doesn't like to, they're very fluid and can adapt quickly. They just don't like it most of the time. <laughs> and so with the aid of summer, you're looking to deepen that ability. You're looking to deepen that relationship. There's a lot of things are showing on the plate right now. So it's whatever it is you're looking at, looking towards, you've been thinking about or trying to create, everything that you've been looking at is because you want this deeper meaning to life. The superficiality, that surface level, is just not cutting it for you, which is typical of water. They're, they always are either trying to escape or trying to go deeper. They don't have a neutral state. It's always they want to escape where they're currently at or they want to delve into the deepest aspect of it. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad on all of those. But what I'm hearing with this one is it is now the moment for you to start shifting your reality, start to shift those things forward and start to really create. That's what manifestation is. That's what the expression is, is you stepping more into yourself. And the eight of summer is coming in to be like, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge and a lesson. You have all of the stuff you need to do. You can do this. You've had this image in your mind for a while. It's been kind of a secret to other people, and that's fine. But this is the time to start bringing it forward because the stars are aligned for the proper expression of who you are as a soul. Your third week is intuition and downloads. As you grow, you pick your intuition picks up and water across the board. I don't care if you're Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Your intuitive abilities are, and this is not ego, are above the other elements. It's just natural because of the water aspect. What I'm hearing with this one is you can see it. There's almost a little water symbol, just like right over here, right there. Um, but what I'm hearing with this one is you're bringing in this higher energy and these downloads, they could be those aha moments, those you're working on your arts and crafts, you're painting, you're um, sculpting, whatever it is that you are creating to bring into the world, you do, 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 and you have that aha moment, the light comes on. Those are powerful spiritual downloads that can really give you some insight into things. They're also saying this week, pay attention to your dreams in this third week. As things shift and realign, you could be tapping into a much deeper and much more powerful aspect of divinity, allowing you to see the next steps, more so than just the next one or two. 
um, with the intuition part, follow your gut instinct because that's going to guide you very, very powerfully through this month, but specifically the third week. So let's see what source has to add to that. Wee! As the card tries to fall on the floor. We have Seek. So when you are looking for answers, do you sit down and just stare at a wall and hope that they come to you? Some people might. The thing is, is you have to ask the question and then seek out the answer. As it says in the I Ching, you sought out the superior man. You sought out someone who is wiser, who has been there, done that. And that's what they're saying. Using your intuition, checking in with yourself, checking in with your guides. Who is it's going to, who in your world, in your circle, in your environment are going to be able to step in and say, I see what you're doing, let me help. Or you seek them out and be like, I've got this idea, I've got this thing, I've got it started to hear, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and that's fine to say. When that happens, the other person, make sure it's, you trust your gut on it, can help guide you into this is the next step, these are the next expansion aspects of who you are. And when you tap into that, it can be exceptionally powerful. And you, you'll notice when you find the person who can guide you like that, things manifest way faster than what you thought. And I'm, I'm not kidding with that because you can have this idea for a while and not sh know how to get beyond where you're at. One conversation with somebody can literally shift your perspective to the point where things just start happening because you've taken one action. So your third week's lesson or challenge is the six of winter. Positive changes are on their way, a welcome relief from trouble, traveling or relocating. There's still this emphasis on movement with this energy going forward because water, it is time for movement. In the north, it's getting colder, things are water starting to freeze, but that doesn't mean that there's not movement. Ice flows are beautiful. There's always some liquid underneath even a frozen lake. And that's what they're saying is even though it might appear that there's not much happening, there's a lot of movement building behind the scenes. And positive changes are on the way. Sometimes you have to weather that frozen patch and allow the ice to break up naturally for what actually changed to accru to be seen by others. And that's what they're saying is even though it might feel like there's not much going on, there's a lot going on behind the scenes and it's building towards this significant positive change for the water family in November. Your fourth week's guide or guardian is actually the guardian angels. These ones are the ones that come in to protect you from negativity, sometimes protect you from yourself, and also protect you overall from spiritual negative influences. And when I talk about guardian angels, there's times I'll reference the holy guardian angel, which is basically the highest aspect of an angelic being that's with you but outside of you. It's not your higher self, so to speak. It's a separate one. Those are all aspects of divine will. And when we are tapping into this growth potential this month, Water, it's saying your divine will is going to step forward and help you understand, A, your place in the world, but also, how do you show up to others? What is the example that you are showing to other people? And that is going to play a massive role in how you fi finish out the month of November is you're cut stepping into a brighter stage just because that's what's going on this month. Your guardian angel is going to help protect you from anything that could be a little bit negative. They're also saying this could be, as you're jumping around the chasm joyfully, they're keeping you from falling off of the edge of the wall. So really be open to the energy coming in and your intuition. Your message from source is the confide card. This is that part of knowing someone you trust, deepening that in intimate relationship with them and being able to actually communicate not just talk at them like you know when you watch this video you're hearing me talk to you or at you <laughs> when you are in an intimate relationship with someone and I'm not meaning bedroom activities I'm just talking about that really close friend the person you can literally talk to them about anything they might tease and joke but they're not going to condemn you for it that's the person that you want to work with this fourth week. Your guardian angels are protecting you from all the negativity in the world at large. But being able to confide in someone that you may not that you may not know what you're doing, that you might feel fear, that you might feel awkward when you do this, and that person being able to be like, uh-huh, but you're doing it. They're there, they're there to be your support system. They're there to be the person that you can rely on. And it doesn't 
in a lot of cases it'll be your spouse but it's not always the case with that because that intimate connection really triggers off of something a little bit different than just a spouse relationship in a lot of cases it can very well be your spouse but you know you always have that one girlfriend if you're a woman who just you can talk to about anything and they don't talk about it outside men had have their friend groups that do that and it used to be groups where you could do that all the time but it's one of those things where that's the type of person and that's the type of connection you need it doesn't mean you have to spill your guts and cry about it play some video games and take your anger out on the screen and they'll be like whoa that's a little hostile and as you're playing you can you'd be surprised how much you can vent out and something like that anyway <laughs> your final lesson or challenge for november is the seven of summer no more procrastinating your power comes from making decisions confusion arises from over analyzing as you go through this month, don't overthink everything. That's why the intuition comes in. That's where the going with the flow energy comes in. You're seeking out people who've been there and done that so that you can make the changes and keep the momentum that you've started the month with rolling to the end. They're saying that this month of November is not a time to let your heels cool. It is really push forward. Do the thing you said you wanted to do this. This is something that's been <laughs> they're saying it's been nagging on the back burner it's been like sitting back there and you randomly will stir the pot over there but you just kind of been letting it simmer they're wanting you to bring this to the front bring it back to the front of your stove so to speak and enough with the procrastinating don't put off the things that you've been wanting to do anymore bring it forward work with source work with your guides and allow this whatever it is you're looking at to step into a brighter space you might find out that once it hits the light of day, you're like, ooh, maybe this needs to be tweaked a little bit. That's a growth option, though. Or it could come into the light and it explodes because this is what the world, your circle, whatever it is, has needed in that moment. So bringing it forward helps you answer the questions. It helps you deal with anything that might be coming up. And this month for our water family is really going to be a powerful month of growth, of realization. But remember what the week starts with, the week four weeks, self-acceptance and understanding. Come to that conclusion first and love yourself in this moment. And the rest of the month is going to expand beautifully for our water family. With that, I will let you guys go. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, hit that subscribe button and comment your thoughts, feelings or opinions. Let me know in the description or in the comments down below. Um, as long as we're respectful, I love reading comments from everybody, so we'll, we'll talk to you all later.